And then we're going to go over to the City Girl second project, City on Lock. City on Lock has 15 songs in it. I like so many of them. I feel like you can definitely hear the growth in the City Girls and their rap and what they're talking about. Um, it's still City Girl subject matter. Like, let's not get it twisted. But just their rhyme, you know, especially Carisha, too. Like, you can see her growth. Uh, she's more comfortable in the songs. Uh, she probably she has a little bit more personal stuff to say, like, on Enough Slash uh, Do Better. Uh, Carisha was coming really hard with the bars. Like, you know, she was pregnant, performing. Um, you know, she's holding it down for JT. They're doing the best that she can do. All of this stuff. Like, I feel that. And then it's a skit. And then I don't work job, bitch. I am a job. Mm, 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 mm. So it's like a fire song. I love the video. I love how good both girls looked. Um, I saw on Twitter JT was talking. I guess like responding to some people that were a little bit critical of her in the video i guess her dancing and she was saying that she's gonna get better she's gonna get more comfortable i'm not mad at it i thought it was a cute video it was a cute vibe so good job girls keep up the high quality and you'll be fine um broke niggas featuring yo Gotti. broke niggas don't deserve no pussy funny very very funny featuring yo Gotti. hilarious um then we got Pussy Talk featuring Doja Cat, which is the second single off the album. And they have a video. If it's not out already, it's going to be out soon. Um, it was kind of random to me, the Doja Cat feature. I, like, I'm not mad at it at all. I love the girls uniting. But on this, like, I would put Doja maybe on another song. But she works here, and it's the cat song, and they're wearing the cat outfit. They all look cute and sexy and fly, so I'm open to seeing the video. And if the video will um, change my impression of the song and make me like Doja more on it. But... I ain't nobody. That old man, cool song. Uh, City on Lock featuring Lil Durk, great song. Uh, winning. We're looking for the big niggas who win and pull up in a sprinter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that song is bomb. That's like a song for you and your homegirls. Y'all getting ready to go out. The song is hilarious. It's bomb. Um, Flewed out. Flewed Out might be my favorite song on this project. If you are a City Girls uh, fan, you know that Flewed Out is a term coined by Young Miami when they were doing the $25,000 twerk challenge, okay? And she was trying to announce it. She was trying to hype it up. And she was like, yeah, y'all gonna get Flewed Out. And it's supposed to be flown out. And then she went viral off that. So now it's her word, Flewed Out, is owned by the City Girls. So they got a song, Flewed Out, featuring Lil Baby. Lil Baby was also featured on their first project. So I think it's great for them to bring him back for the second one, and you can see his growth as well. So, bitch trying to get flued out for the weekend. Mm -hmm. I love it. I, woo. And I am trying to get flued out. I'll be flying myself out, you know? I'ma ride you like a rodeo. I, I love it. I love JT. I, good job, girl. Uh, and then Double C's. Double C's is the song. What are you talking about? Okay, theme for Chanel, hit the mall OD. I feel that. I can't wait until I'm able to do that personally. It's going to be a movie. It's going to be a trailer. It's going to be a series. All right, because I'll be in there all day. I feel it. Okay, then That's My Bitch is the song. And I feel like this is like the City Girl song to each other because they really held it down. Miami held it down for JT. JT held it down for Miami. I'm sure she was in jail and a lot of girls was hating. A lot of girls trying to start drama. Like, ooh, she ain't your friend. And blah, blah, blah. No trying to sow discord no 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 we a tight group a tight knit that's my bitch i know she got my bed point blank period like a city girl friendly i also saw jt on twitter talking about this is her favorite way to rap like a lot a little bit more confrontational a little bit more um nuck if you buck diamond and princess cry ma like so jt about to ask she want to rap about fighting she want to rap about beating these hoes up so i'm open to it i'm ready for it friendly Great song, go listen to it. And then last but not least, ain't saying nothing because y'all really ain't saying nothing. The City Girls have came. Everybody counted them out. I know even me a little bit when JT went to jail, because we already knew JT was going to go to jail. Like, they prepared us for that. And Miami was going hard. She was doing everything she could. I was not giving Miami no shade for her performances, all that, because I know it is hard when you agree to be a group and you're out there by yourself. Even Beyonce talked about her having anxiety and her first few performances without the other girls. Her Destiny Child, when she went to a solo artist, were hard, and it was like nerve-wracking. She could not get used to it. Was putting dancers on the side of her for a while until she'd get her footing. So I'm not mad at Miami for what she did. But it was like, Miami gets pregnant. 
And I'm like, damn. So now she's the person that's holding it down. What is she going to do? How is she going to do? Is she pregnant? And I did not feel like at the time, and maybe that was my mistake, I did not feel at the time that they had enough buzz and enough hype and like the infrastructure and the team that Cardi had to push through when she was pregnant. I didn't think the City Girls had that. But then in the back of my mind, I'm like, they're over there with QC. Cardi is clearly their friend. So maybe she gave her tips and pointers like, look, don't tell nobody nothing until you, so you are fully, fully shown like you can't hide it no more. So you can go out, so you can do the performances, you can still get the money, you can still record it because you're pregnant. And it's going to be fine. When Miami got shot at the studio, that was another time when I was like, oh, she probably want to quit. Like, she probably want to be going through this, doing all this, and she's pregnant. No, Miami held it down like a thug. Miami held it down a lot harder than some of you niggas hold it down. So it's like, now I feel that they're both back out, both on point, both on A game, both bodies looking good. They just got to get their minds together. Because recently Miami lost her, the father of her child too. So it's like there's a lot of shit going on. A lot of roadblocks coming up at the city girls. And they keep on just going over and moving past them. You know? So somebody is out here praying for the city girls too. And you know, I might put my grandma on it. Because I feel like y'all deserve all the shine. Like, I want y'all to be like the salt and pepper of my generation. Because you ladies have all the tools. You got the style. You got the uniqueness. You got the personalities, and y'all could really take it to the top. I also said before when I was um, covering one of Miami's looks with the City Girls, and I'm like, I want them to like, dress a little bit more in their City Girl merch because I feel like they could be a force in fashion. Like, you guys can get on your Kindle and Kylie and be out here selling clothes, like City Girls clothes clothes. Not that say City Girls like merch, which is cool too. Merch, merch will get you a bag. But I'm saying like a Fashion Nova collection like Cardi had, um, PLT collection, and then maybe just your own like private label thing. Maybe y'all got the website and you're selling your city. Like, I don't know, but I feel like you ladies have it, especially because Miami used to have a little online boutique, and I feel like JT was probably helping out with that, or she was interested in that too. So please, ladies, come together on some business type stuff too, because that's not only going to help you build your empire, it could catapult you further. Like, think about Jessica Simpson. Kids that are out now don't know Jessica Simpson used to sing, they just know she make a mean interview pump, and they want it. So, city girls, I need you to get all of your bags collected. Drag them in, rake them in. Miami, you got a bunch of siblings. Your mama, you got everybody you need to take care of. JT, she complained about her family. I care for money on Twitter. Break it in, ladies. You need to shovel it. And then it don't matter. Whole team good, whole team straight. Eating, and y'all old. And you don't got to go on tour if you don't want to. You can be soccer mom, super mom, Miami. You don't got to be going all the time everywhere. You can go through the performances that's paying you the biggest bag. Because you already got the bag on deck. Come on, ladies. Plan it out. Empire it out. I know y'all going through a lot, so I'm not even going to try to act like money and all that and, and empire building is top of mind. But please, ladies, you have all of the tools to make yourselves like those girls. Thank you. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. I'm sorry.